Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to just show you a very quick technique that will allow you to dive into a master timeline such as the one you're viewing right now. This is a 90 minute documentary timeline. It has obviously a lot going on and sometimes it's quite overwhelming to work on specific scenes or sequences uh, of footage within the timeline. And so what I like to do a lot of the time if I'm really diving, let's say I'm refining this scene here, I'll just create an in and an out point across the entire scene or span of time that I want to work on. And then what I want to do is bring up that timeline in the media pool, which is up here. In the media pool, I'm going to hit enter to bring it into the source monitor. And you'll notice the in and out points are displayed in the source monitor there. Now all I need to do is right click and create a subclip. I've got control P as the shortcut for that. And I'm going to just name this, let's say interview scene change, just for the sake of this example. And now if I click on that subclip and hit shift enter to bring it up in the timeline, you can see that that span of footage that I selected out of the master timeline is now its own sequence. The good thing about this is it's retained all of the video track information, all of the audios come through, and now I can freely work in this timeline, which is only now, say, two minutes, instead of dealing with that 90 minute timeline. I can make changes, I can delete sections, obviously I can add B-roll, I can do whatever I want to this edit. And now what I need to do is simply just adopt that change back into my master timeline. So if we go back to the master timeline, I've still got that in and out point created. What I'm gonna do in this case is do a ripple delete of that in and out point, and then I'm just gonna use an insert edit to drop that source timeline back into this timeline. So now what I have is adopted that new change within this little area, and I haven't had to stress about what's happening throughout the rest of the timeline while I'm just focused in on that change. So you can use this. If you have large sequences that are overwhelming, you can just create in and out points right here in the timeline, create a subclip, just work within the subclip to focus on your changes, and then absorb those changes back in to the master timeline. I hope that was helpful. For now, peace out, and we'll see you in the next one.